So what's going on YouTube? Before I get into uh, the video, just want to thank everybody that's been watching my videos and has subscribed and hopefully I'm bringing you guys good content. I know I'm not the best uh, YouTube video creator out there, so do appreciate you guys watching the videos. Anyway, so I ended up getting this Ready Lift um, leveling kit, 66-1921, and it's part of their SSD line. Comes with uh, upper control arms, which are supposed to keep the, the geometry correct. Really rugged, heavy duty. And uh, comes with these top mount spacers, which uh, I think are better than the one than the coil spacers that go under uh, in between the coil. Uh, I don't know for a fact, but I, I think these are better for your suspension component. And then it came with, you know, rubber bushings and all that other good stuff. So I usually do installs myself, but uh, I think I'm going to take this down and have it done professionally. Yeah, because it's going to have to get in alignment anyways, so might as well just have them just do it all. And should level out the truck pretty good. I got about two inches higher in the back than it is up front. Um, should look pretty good, give it a better stance, and then uh, allow me to put 35s on there and probably a different set of rims. So anyways, I'll hit you guys up when I get to the uh, install place. Thanks. So what's going on YouTube? Ended up just getting back from having the leveling kit installed on the truck. The truck is definitely level now. Definitely going to have plenty of, plenty of room up front for 35s and maybe a 20 inch rim. Haven't decided yet what I'm going to do with rims and tires, but here's a picture of the new upper control arm. And obviously the spacers right up top here. Uh, one thing that I noticed though when I had it installed um, here, I live in Orlando, Florida. The bolts here that mount to the strut, none of these bolts were, they were all finger loose. None of them were tightened at all. So the installers forgot to tighten all these down. I don't know if it would have come loose, maybe if I had a big pothole or something, probably. But uh, who knows? I ended up torquing them down to the proper specs on both sides, called them up, obviously. All they said was, oh, my bad. Uh, which I thought was pretty much garbage. They really didn't give two two craps or not that they that they let me go with all those bolts not being tightened down. So I just go to show you, check other people's work because they could care less about you. They just want the money. And uh, for anybody who wants to know who the installer was, it was Orlando Wheel and Tire. I'd probably avoid them like the plague because. Uh, not only did they do that, but they told me, they quoted me a price of 300 for the install and it ended up costing me 400 So, um, anyways, whatever. Should have ended up doing it myself. Leave it to the pros, right? Anyways, guys, I uh, hope you enjoy the content and the video. And uh, uh, I thought the driving habits of the truck were great and drove it home. I didn't notice anything, no rougher ride. It smooth, just like it was factory. And um, I don't know, I'd say if you're in the market for a leveling kit, that would definitely be one that I would consider uh, for sure. And like I said, it was a ready lift kit, their SST line. All right, guys, have a good one. Peace.